Hey guys, this is Bear from Bear's Workshop. This video is going to be the first of several describing my Build Your Own Pool project. In the last video, we'll be going over the costs associated with this, and then we'll be doing a, a video that has the entire construction in one time lapse. This is going to be a time lapse of the first three phases of the pool construction. I decided to split this up because I wanted to inform everyone of the mistakes I've made so far and what you can do to avoid them, and having them split up would be easier for your viewing pleasure. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button right now, and then click on the bell to receive notifications so you can see when the next video is posted. I signed on with BYOP in late April of this year. We're currently in July right now. We had a pool designed, and along the way we made some changes. BYOP sent off our initial drawings to their recommended contractors. It took a few weeks to get responses from everyone, and I would have liked to see more builders respond. I didn't feel like I had enough. For some phases, there was only one quote. I did reach out to some other contractors that I was able to find and did get some quotes from them. On our plans, we had three sections that were being built. The pool, a sunken barn, and an in-ground trampoline. We'd made some changes during the process, and it was my job to make sure each contractor had the latest information. The first phase of the construction is what should be relatively easy, the layout. I had a recommended contractor come out and lay out the pool. This was on a Friday morning and he was leaving to go out of town after the layout. He had quoted the plans that he was sent and when I asked him about the sunken barn, the trampoline, he said he only quoted for the pool. I asked him to mark off everything. He did want to charge me for the extra work or I could just pay him what he quoted. Odd that he gave me a choice. So I decided to go with the, the cheaper option. I didn't think I should pay more because he didn't quote what was on the plans. After he left, I was looking at the layout and it just didn't seem right. He was going off the original plans and the pool had a Baja deck that was a bit short. I wiped the line away and replaced it with what was correct. So that was my first mistake. Make sure everyone has the current plans. Looking at the layout some more, I decided to measure the area. We were one foot short. The pool is 38 by 22 feet finished. The layout was 37 by 22. So my solution was to tell the excavators who were coming in the, in the morning about the error and make sure they dug the proper dimensions. What I should have done is measured before he left, but knowing he was out of town, I went with the next option of just letting the excavator know everything needed stretched by a foot. The layout was also missing the location for the bench and one of the skimmers. After you get every bid, make sure you ask the contractor what is included in this bid. The layout contractor didn't bid the entire plan. This comes up again with the excavators. The excavators were not on the BYOP list. These are people that I found on the internet. They promised a price that was about 20% lower. It came out the next morning and when we started talking, I realized that when I had gotten the quote over the phone that I had not mentioned the sunken bar and the trampoline. I felt that I had mentioned the depth of the pool, but that was now up for debate and I had nothing in writing. I decided to accept their new quote because there was a significant amount of digging for the trampoline and the sunken bar. The bar was dug out at 14 by 18 and four feet deep. So that's almost like another pool. I went through the errors that were made on the layout, explaining the proper width and the length of the pool. They explained that they would take care of it and extend it out. I explained that the depth of the Baja deck should be 10 inches of water finished instead of the, the plan showing 12 inches. I then let them get to work and occasionally went out and looked. The dig took a bit longer than I wanted over the next few days, but as they're getting ready to finish, I was using my pinpoint laser focus to distract me from the full picture. They dug the pool out to 38 feet. Well, with the shot creek that goes in, you'll lose a foot or more, and it was supposed to be 38 finished. On the phone to the boss, and we got it corrected with some grumbling about where the layout should have been. Again, looking around, I see the bench is literally about three inches of dirt removed. The workers looked at it and said, the plan just say bench and doesn't have a def on it. Well, that bench would actually have been above the water line, which they agreed it would be. We called BYOP and they said a standard bench, which they should know, should be about digging down 29 inches. Then they asked me who was digging the pool and I had to admit it was someone they didn't recommend. Starting to realize that even though they didn't give me all the quotes I wanted, it might have been best to stick with those that were recommended. The bench was corrected, the overall length was fixed, the dig didn't look good and I was starting to think that maybe I made a bad decision on the length and the depths that I chose. The pool seemed to have a long slant from the shallow to the deep with really nothing flat. But I ended up dismissing this thinking that I 
don't look at pools when they're being built and my vision of this may just not be correct. Another mistake. I should have called BYOP and had them come out and see the progress, but I was gung-ho on moving forward, so I did. The plumbers came out and started their work. They were working on the second day when they called me out to look at something that wasn't right. We had a little bit of miscommunication since my Spanish was lacking and so was their English, but it was pretty clear when they showed me the problem. Now remember my laser focus on the width and the length of the pool. Well, what is missing? The depth. The shallow end was supposed to be three and a half feet deep, finished. Deep end, eight foot, finished. You have to add nine inches for Shot Creek plus a three inches on top of the water line. So the shallow end was sitting at three feet, two inches in depth, take off nine inches and you're at a depth of two feet, five inches. The deep end was worse. They dug to seven feet, two inches, leaving a finished depth of six and a half feet. The center of the pool was supposed to be five finished. It was about six inches short of that. The plumbers had already done most of the piping for the in-floor cleaning system. They had to stop and I had to call the excavators back out. I failed to check the depth of the pool. Laser focuses on the length and the width failed me again. As a general contractor, it's my job to make sure these guys do the job right. I now failed on the first two phases. I called the excavators and two days later, we had two guys with shovels trying to dig out the pool to the proper depth. They couldn't get their machinery out till the next day. They did get the machinery out the next day, but at the same time, they had to pull all the pipes for the in-floor cleaning system out to dig this properly. Since the shallow end was too shallow, it was much higher than the middle. It created a slope that I was seeing in a Thought wasn't right, but let it ride anyway. Mistake. So check your measurements and check your measurements. Make sure everyone has the latest plans and double check their work. The plumbers came back out and finished up what they could do. The next phase is steel followed by electrical. The plumbers will get back out after the steel and get their stuff wrapped up. After the steel and electrical, we need to get an inspection from the town before we can proceed to Shot Creek. I hope this video where I describe my mistakes is helpful to you if you're looking to build a pool yourself or take on any project where you might be the general contractor. So to see the next video in this project, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to receive notifications. We'll see you next time.